After all, this information had been available to many psychologists across the decades. And yet, they had not led anyone to Watson as a participant. So, we needed to find out additional information. Discoveries had to be made about the baby studies. And those discoveries would hopefully round out the picture that would lead us to Albert. Now, here are a few of the discoveries that we made. Our first one was not particularly shocking. <laughs> Albert was Caucasian. I thought about it, but I don't think I could even, you know, get a, uh, you know, Vanity Press article on that. I, uh, I mean, that was pretty obvious. Everybody figured Albert was Caucasian. You look at the movie, he looks Caucasian, right? You know? That, so it wasn't much of a surprise. But I thought Watson didn't mention that in his writings. And so I decided that we should, in fact, at least list it. Another thing that became very important was this. Watson made a f film that some people, I believe incorrectly, call the first film in psychology. That is the first film by which a researcher uh, disseminated his or her findings. It probably wasn't the first, but it was certainly one of the first. And in it, Albert is the star. He's in this 12-minute film about two minutes. And by looking at this film, we were able to determine that the first session, when Albert was eight months and 26 days of age, was filmed. Uh, that was the baseline session. Now, in and of itself, that wasn't particularly useful. But the way, in fact, often that the path to Albert would open would not be from a single piece of information. It would be by looking at the confluence. That is, getting two pieces of data, neither one in which the in of themselves was particularly important, but if you put them together, they say something special. We looked at the film. We looked at letters uh, from Watson to President Goodenow of Hopkins trying to buy and get Hopkins to support the purchase of the film, which was very expensive. And we read everything we possibly could about the baby studies Watson wrote. And from that, we determined that the movie was made sometime between, the first filming rather, was between November 28th and December 12th, 1919. Now, if we know Albert's age at eight months and 26 days, of it, well, he was filmed at eight months and 26 days, and we know the filming occurred between November 28th and December 12th, what can we now figure out? His birthday. And so now instead of hunting for millions of boys, we're now hunting for a boy born between March 2nd and March 16th, 1990. You like that, Maria? <laughs> All right, uh, so this, in fact, would be a key day. Now, I don't have time, unfortunately, to tell you uh, all the data that led us to that conclusion. Uh, what I would suggest is you might want to read the uh, uh, American Psychologist article from October in 2009 and see if you, in fact, believe that we're justified in that conclusion. You know, I, you'll read it, right? I can tell from the look on your face that you were going to be one of the guys that would be skeptical. And I'm going to read it and make sure that he is, in fact, actually stating this, right? All right, well, good. You should. You should have it. And, uh, and, and, but anyway, for right now, please take that on faith that he was born between the 2nd and the 16th of March. Now, we also reviewed records from the Harriet Lane Home, uh, which you will recall was a pediatric facility where Albert's mother was a wet nurse. And from looking at the reminiscences of people from that era, looking at blueprints and account books, we were able to de determine that there were never at any time probably more than four wet nurses concurrently at the Harriet Lane home. So there were very few children who conceivably could have been Albert. Now, this was 
some discoveries, and we felt very good about them. But the hard part of our journey was still ahead of us. And ah, oh, good. I thought for a minute our journey might have just ended. <laughs> <laughs> you know, apparently, uh, apparently it is to go on. Well, that, 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 that's good. Huh? Now the hard part is finding an individual who matches these attributes. Uh, my first thought was, our villa work, uh, pardon me, uh, uh, Albert's mother works uh, at the Harriet Lane home. Maybe there are employee records. So I contacted Hopkins and no, there are no employee records. They were long ago thrown out in the trash. Our, uh, our treasures were someone's trash, as often happens in history. Uh, I thought, well, babies get sick. Albert was a baby. He lived in a hospital. Maybe he went to the doctor. Well, unfortunately, there are no patient records from that era. Now, the third thing before I approach that, let me say, I like John Watson. He and I get along fine. Right? <laughs> he had his rough edges, but he, we, we'd get along fine, you know? Uh, there are a few things he did in his life, however, that really made me angry. And I'm going to tell you one of those. I thought, well, what about private papers? I'm always making notes when I do experiments. Maybe there's some little note. Maybe there's some little piece of paper that will give us a clue that will lead us to, what, to Albert. Late in his life in the 1950s, uh, Watson's companion secretary comes in, and Watson is feeding his private papers into the fire. And she goes, no, stop, John, stop. And he goes, no. And he turns around and says, when you're dead, you're all dead. <laughs> well, I guess you can't argue with that. I mean, <laughs> who's a great historian like that. Think of the wonderful stories we would have. So I got very angry. And we had also hit a wall. And I felt that this is where all the previous attempts to find Albert had collapsed. And so we just kind of went in circles for a while. Well, if psychology tell, teaches us anything, it's that we often do not see what's in front of us. If I had known how to say, on the first day of our inquiry, I would have known how to find out. In fact, not just myself, but any of those people before us who had searched for Albert, if they had known how to see, they would have known how to find out. Because Watson and Rainer told us. Two of the first things we learned about Albert were that his mother lived in the Harriet Lane home and the study was conducted in the winter of 1919-1920.